Konnichiwa, and welcome to the 286th podcast of the NC Rowan County Anime Group. My name is Robert Kayong. I'm currently the president of the group. Today, I'm at the Landis Public Library, or China Grove Public Library, whichever one you want to call it, the South Regional Branch. And I'm outside where they have picnic tables. This was a very secluded place. Uh, not a lot of people usually come out here this time of day. But I'm going to show you just for a moment where I'm at. This is a different side of the library. You've probably seen it before in previous podcasts, but this is the opposite side. So I'm taking the camera right now. I'm going to show you the opposite side. And like I said, this is the opposite side of this library. There's a little trail that goes behind this library. And the picnic tables is not too far away. It's about practically like in the middle. You can see it from the windows up there. So I thought I would come out here today, have my lunch, because I went up to uh, about a mile up the road, there's a food line, went and bought me some chicken, uh, freshly cooked, and uh, I'm going to munch down on this in just a little bit. There's also two stones which have very special proverbs on it, or sayings. I'm going to take you to one of them just real quick, it shouldn't take too much, so please excuse the camera moving again. And like I said, this is the trail right here. You can probably see it. Try to be as slow as possible. I know the camera likes to jerk a lot. But if you come across certain stones, you have these nice, beautiful sayings. And I'll try to zoom in on that just a little bit here. So you can actually see that. And like I said, I'm eating over here. I'm going to go back and put the camera back and I'll tell you a little bit more of what's on my mind. <laughs> so, if you ever are out here, let me zoom this thing down just a little bit. Right down to normal. I hope you will take the time to uh, enjoy it sometime if you're a resident of Rowan County. Uh, let me see here. Put it back on me. Okay. Now, for a little bit of information about uh, Japan in this podcast, believe it or not, the Japanese are fascinated with American animation. And to prove my point, this is a new type magazine that um, a friend just recently gave me just a while back at, uh, I think it was uh, Carolina Anime Day. But if you look behind this, you will see... Uh, some American animation. Now this is from Hanna Barbera, Shazam, and up here is uh, I hope you the camera still allow me to take this uh, Dick Dastardly and Mutley from the old 1960 series Stop That Pigeon. Now if I take a moment, and I hope I can find this. There's um, some advertisement about Lady and the Tramp, and I hope you can see this. Like I said, I'm not sure how this camera's going to pick this up. So the Japanese are very fascinated with us. Even Tessica, uh, who created Astro Boy, um, liked the works of Walt Disney and Max Flasher. And when I was at, uh, I think it was, okay, StellarCon, also too deep SouthCon, when Tiffany Grant and Matt Greenfield were there, Matt told me, and so did Tiffany, when they were in Japan visiting, that the Japanese really liked like the Little Mermaid stuff, Pocahontas, uh, so there is a very interest in American animation that the Japanese are fascinated with. Uh, I have no doubt in my mind if America really wanted to put out quality shows or really wanted to put out the type of work that would be very interesting, they could do it, but the, whoever the higher ups are, um, they really need to re reconsider their thoughts about animation. Because I would pay good money uh, to go see an adaptation of Camelot 3000, which was done by DC Comics uh, with the miniseries, which is, I highly recommend. It's also out in hardback and would suggest somebody to go read that. Well, our next meeting will be our yard sale on October the 15th. We'll be at Woodley Plains from 7 to 11. Now, if it rains, forget it. We're not having that yard sale. Now, 
October the 19th at the main branch of the Rowan Public Library from 6 to 8. We will be having a meeting and seeing EOPS otherwise. Uh, Greg Ayers does do some voice work in that. And then uh, October the 30th, we're having a crossplay event at the Salisbury Mall from 1 to 5. Um, the second weekend of November, we're still working with the Bonaventure. Hopefully, going to have a meeting at the Edward McKay's in Winston-Salem. And I'm still hoping to nail down some more information about that, hopefully at 1 o'clock. And then on November the 19th at this public library, which will be a Saturday, meet us from uh, 2 to 4 to see the Orton Horse High School Club. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this podcast, and I'm going to go and get me something to eat. So I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.